In this video, we are going to find solution of homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation with constant coefficient. So first of all, what do you mean by differential equation? dy by dx is a differential equation where x is an independent variable and y is a dependent variable. So for finding solution, we need final answer in terms of y. y is our dependent variable. We need final answer in terms of y. So solution of differential equation means we need to find two things complementary function and particular integral okay then only we will get the final solution now what do you mean by homogeneous if after equal to sign it is zero we will say the equation is homogeneous instead of zero suppose think that here the term it is e raised to x okay now after equal to sign it is not zero at that time it is a non-homogeneous equation. If after equal to sign it is 0, then we will say it is a homogeneous equation. So in this question, this is a homogeneous equation. Now what do you mean by linear? Le linear differential equation, the degree will be 1. I think you know how to find order and degree of a differential equation. In this differential equation, which what is the order? Order is the highest derivative. Here the high, highest derivative it is 2. So order it is 2. Now what is the degree? Degree is the power of highest derivative. Highest derivative it is 2. So power of that it is 1. So degree it is 1. If you don't know how to find order and degree, just watch the first video. Okay. So in this case, degree is 1. And one more thing is there to find whether it is linear differential equation or not. One more condition is there. Look at the equation. The dependent variable. Dependent variable it is y y should not be in a product form that means y square y cube or y multiplied by sine y like that see in this equation y should not be in a product term suppose think that at this term here it is y square then this is not a linear differential equation okay in this question here it is y so this is a linear differential equation now what do you mean by ordinary differential equation ordinary differential equation means there will be only one dependent variable suppose think that there is another dependent variable such as z dz by dx then we will say it is a partial differential equation there are two dependent variables y and z so it, we will say it as a partial differential equation in this case this is a ordinary differential equation there is only one dependent variable now with constant coefficient what is the what do you mean by coefficient if dy by dx is the differential equation the term near to that suppose think that here it is 6 6 dy by dx this 6 is a constant constant coefficient coefficient is the term near to this differential equation so near to this differential equation there is no constant or we will say it is 1 1 multiplied by d square y by dx square so constant it is 1 near this differential equation the constant is 5 near y the constant is 6 so constant coefficient so this question it is a homogeneous because after equal to sign it is 0 homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation with constant coefficient now we are going to find the solution okay now listen carefully if this is a homogeneous differential equation that means after equal to sign it is 0 then particular integral will be equal to 0 if after equal to sign it is 0, then particular integral will be equal to 0. So, our final solution will consist only of complementary function. Okay. If there are any terms after this equal to sign, then there will be particular integral, which we will be discussing in the next video. So, for this question, there is only complementary function. So, the first step is to do substitution. That is, suppose think that it is d by dx then we need to substitute with capital D either in some test book they will use capital M we are going to use capital D so instead of d square by dx square we will write capital D square instead of d cube by dx cube we will write capital D cube okay now suppose think that there is a y term then put here also y y here also y y here also y now this equation will become d square y by dx square so instead of that substitute capital d square y minus 
5 dy by dx instead of dy by dx substitute capital dy plus 6y 6y we will write like that itself there is already differential term we will do the substitution 6y we will write like that itself then put equal to 0 now see y is common in this three term so i'm going to take y outside then the remaining is d square minus 5d plus 6 equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation how to find the solution see it is d square so there will be two values for d okay the power of d it is 2 so there will be two values for d how to find that either you can use minus b plus or minus root of b square minus ac by 2a either you can use that equation or directly you can do substitution in calculator this is a second degree equation so click on on mod button three times then equation then second degree so click on 2 then the coefficient here d square it is 1 the coefficient here d it is minus 5 so minus 5 and the coefficient here c it is 6 so the values for x1 it is 3 that means d it is 3 and the next value it is 2 so we will get the values for d as 3 and 2 so the root of this quadratic equation is 3 and 2 see we are getting two different values so our case 1 in case 1 the roots the roots will be real and different real numbers they are real numbers and they are different values okay at that time the solution will be y equal to c1 e raised to m1x plus c2 e raised to m2x what is m1 and m2 m1 and m2 are the two values so for this question the solution will be y equal to c1 is a constant e raised to m1 instead of m1 you can substitute any values okay i'm going to substitute 2 so 2x plus c2 is a constant e raised to m2 instead of m2 substitute the second value that is 3 3x so this is the solution for this question now suppose think that when we find the root the two values are same they are real numbers but they are same that is case 2 in case 2 the roots are real numbers but they are equal or they are same at that time the solution will be y equal to c1 plus c2x multiplied by e raised to mx what is our m m is the value here it is 3 so our m will become 3 now one more case is there instead of getting real number we will get complex number okay that means 3 plus 4j or 4i we will say it is a complex number at that time what is our solution our solution will be y equal to e raised to alpha x multiplied by c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x that is our solution where what is alpha and beta alpha is the real number beta is the coefficient here imaginary term that is 4 okay we can do a question now we can do this question d square y by dx square plus 6 dy by dx plus 9 by equal to 0 this is also a homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation with constant coefficients okay so first step we need to do the substitution instead of d square y by dx square what we will write d square y by dx square we will write capital d square y capital d square y plus 6 instead of dy by dx instead of dy by dx we will write capital dy plus 9y 9y we will write like that itself if there is only differential term we need to do the substitution equal to 0 now see y is common so take y outside then the remaining term it will be d square plus 6d plus 9 equal to 0 see the power of 2 it is power of d it is 2 so we will get two values for d how to find that either you can use uh, calculator or minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a that equation minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a we can use that equation find the roots i am going to use calculator in order to save time so near d square it is 1 then 
near d it is 6 then it is 9 so we are getting the value minus 3 then see we are not getting the second value that means we are both the values will be minus 3 okay so minus 3 will be same so for this question we are getting same values see same values these are real numbers but they are same values that is our case 2 in case 2 the roots are real numbers and but they are also equal at that time the solution it is y equal to c1 plus c2x multiplied by e raised to mx so the solution will be y equal to c1 plus c2x multiplied by e raised to m instead of m we need to write this term so m it is minus 3 then x so this is the solution for this question now we can do one more question so this question d square y by dx square plus dy by dx plus y equal to 0 so instead of d square y by dx square we need to substitute capital d square y so d square we will write capital d square then y plus dy by dx so we will write d y instead of d by dx we will substitute capital d then y y plus y term is there so we will write like that itself put equal to 0 now y is common so take y outside then d square plus d plus 1 we took y outside okay so plus 1 equal to 0 now we can either use calculator or we can this time we can use this minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac all divided by 2a so what is b b is the coefficient here d that is 1 so minus instead of b write 1 plus or minus the coefficients near d the coefficient it is 1 so b value it is 1 a value is 1 b value is also 1 c value is also 1 okay so b value 1 first of all write minus then b value 1 plus or minus root of b value that is 1 so 1 square it is 1 itself minus 4 a value a value is also 1 c value is also 1 so 4 multiplied by 1 it is going to be 4 all divided by 2a a it is 1 so this is the answer so you will get minus 1 plus or minus root of 1 minus 4 it is minus 3 all divided by 2 now we know root of minus 1 it is i or we will say j the imaginary part so we will write root 3 into minus 1 that means minus 1 plus or minus root of 3 multiplied by root of minus 1 so root of minus 1 we will write i so you will get 3i all divided by 2 so the final answer we are going to get the two values are d equal to minus 1 plus root 3 i all divided by 2 so i am going to write minus 1 by 2 root 3 by 2 the second d value it is minus 1 by 2 instead of plus or minus so i am going to write minus root 3 by 2 i so these are the two values that i am getting so in this case it is a imaginary value so this is case 3 so the solution will be y equal to e raised to alpha what is alpha the real part real part is alpha real part it is minus 1 by 2 so minus 1 by 2 x multiplied by c1 cos beta what is beta the imaginary part imaginary part it is root 3 by 2 so root 3 by 2 x plus c2 sin beta what is beta beta is the imaginary part so root 3 by 2 x so this is the solution for this question now in the question they will give initial conditions such as y of 0 equal to 1 y of 0 0.5 equal to 2 like that they will give initial condition that questions we will say as initial value problem which we will be discussing in the next video